Hello and welcome in my channel. My name is Taha Sha'er. I'm pharmacist and bipolar in the same time. Yes, I'm proud to bipolar. I have diagnosed with bipolar one disorder since 2011. Okay, today I gonna talk about the most antipsychotic cells worldwide. Worldwide, the Brexa. You know, the Brexa last year. Total sales worldwide 4.2 billion dollars. 4.2 billion dollars. The Brexit have become by far Lily's best selling product in USA only last year 360 million dollars just in USA. There are 2 million, 2 million people worldwide on the Brexa. In this video, we gonna know everything about the Brexa. I gonna talk about its chemical characters, active ingredient, uh, concentration, forms, bioavailability, metabolism, excretion, they have all chemical characters. I gonna talk about, uh, I gonna talk about history of FDA approval and about LNL company, I'm gonna talk about alternatives here in Egypt, in Saudi market, worldwide. I also, I'm gonna also talk about uses, side effects, drug drug interactions, drug food interaction, drug disease interaction, how to minimize side effect, and I will answer the most frequent asking questions. This video, every single minute in this video is highly important. Let's go. The Brexa, active ingredient in the Brexa called Olenzabine. Olenzabine. It comes in the most frequent concentrations are 2.5, 5 and 10 milligrams. There are another concentrations like uh, 7.5, 15 milligram, 20 milligram, but not in all in all uh, the world, okay, you get it? In all countries of the world. Forms, there are three forms of the Brexa. Tablet, ODT or oral dispersible tablet, oral dispersible tablet, and, in, uh, and uh, injections, intramuscular injections. Intramuscular injections not available, uh, available in Arab area or Middle East or North Africa, okay? T half, T half for Orleans bean is 33 hours. You, we have to take the second dose every 24 hours, okay? What about bioavailability? The bioavailability from brand usually higher than the bioavailability from any generics, from any generics. Metabolism, it usually metabolized by cytochrome P50, cytochrome B50 in the liver, in the liver, okay? Excretion in urine, excretion in urine. Uh, let's, let's know about, let's talk about, little about history and FDA approval and total sales, okay? FDA approval, uh, the Brexa is approved by FDA in 2009, 2009. This product is for an American company called Eli Lilly, or abbreviated in Lilly. In Lilly. Lilly also has a lot of CNS products, for example, Prozac is for Lilly company, and Simpalta for Lilly company also, and it has also a lot of other products like Cialis, like uh, Insulin Humalog, okay? It is an amazing international medical company, okay? Sales in USA only, in USA only, every year annually, 360 million dollars, million dollars. According to studies, last year, worldwide, 4.2 billion, billion dollars worldwide in all of the world, okay? There are 2 million people on the world on the Brexit, okay? The Brexa is from is the second generation antipsychotics. It's also called atypical antipsychotic. Okay, this uh, this type of antipsychotics not 
course a case step up pyramidal syndrome we're gonna make a complete comprehensive video about uh, extra pyramidal syndrome inshallah in the future alternatives here in egypt olabix olanza olanzabine the most famous alternatives for the pyrexa olabix olanza and olanzabine there is also shizulazine and others okay in saudi only two pyrexal and olazine pyrexal and olazine worldwide zedis zedis and Real brave, real brave is the most famous alternative for the uh, Brexa. Okay, but there are 142 other products, generics worldwide, contains the same active ingredient of the Brexa, contain all in the beer. I'm gonna put them all in description and show them. What about its mechanism of action? Really, the Brexa, it has, it has a detailed mechanism of action. But in brief, it acts on dopamine and serotonin. It acts on dopamine and serotonin as antagonists, as antagonists. Or, in other words, dopamine and serotonin block up. You get it? Okay. There are a lot of serotonin receptors for example d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 also there are a lot of serotonin receptors 5 hydroxytryptamine type 1 to 7 5 hydroxy 5 hydroxytryptamine 5 ht1 5 ht2 5 ht3 4 5 6 7 okay and also each type has almost three other subtypes. You get it, okay? So, in brief, the Brexa acts on dopamine and serotonin as antagonist. It decreases the amount of serotonin and dopamine in the brain. You have to, to put this in your mind, okay? Uh, what about uses? It used for schizophrenia. It used for bipolar disorder. It also used for eating disorder like anorexia nervosa. It also used for insomnia, insomnia with chemotherapy. Insomnia with chemotherapy. Okay. What about side effects of the Brexa? The Brexa ha has a lot, a lot of side effects. Number one, weight gaining and increasing appetite because it decrease basal metabolic rate and increase hunger you get it okay also on cns it causes dizziness and movement disorder not extra pyramidal syndrome but movement disorder on level it increases alt and ast enzymes okay it also increases blood glucose level it also increases insulin resistance. May cause gynecomastia. Gynecomastia, especially in males. Okay? What about... And also, from the side effects, erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction. What about drug-drug interactions? Usually, there are a lot of drug and drug interactions, but the most famous, the most famous, Drug drug interaction with ciprofloxacine. Ciprofloxacine it comes uh, by trade name uh, Ciprobe, Ciprobe from Pyre Company. Okay. Uh, drug drug interaction with ciprofloxacine decrease absorption of uh, olanzapine. With fluvoxamine, which comes uh, by brand name Favorin, okay, worldwide, decreases clearance and increase toxicity. With carbamazepine, carbamazepine decreases concentration of olanzapine by 33%. Okay, so we have to avoid mood stabilizer, the tigritol. Tigritol it contains it contains active ingredient called carbamazepine. Okay, drug disease interaction. It usually complete forbidden with hypertension tension patients, elderly, 
we have to avoid using olanzapine with hypertensive patient and elderly persons okay okay both of them uh, what about the most frequent asking questions what about the most frequent <laughs> asking questions question number one how to maintain healthy level how to maintain healthy level to maintain healthy level in my in my point of view we have to make healthy lifestyle healthy lifestyle healthy diet healthy eatings okay uh, the best diet from my point of view is intermittent fasting and also ketogenic diet or any other diet but from my point of view both of them okay and also we have to take supplements which enhance liver uh, liver function uh, for example milk system for example milk system it is really amazing amazing result for enhancing uh, amazing food supplement for enhancing liver uh, function okay how to minimize insulin resistance to in minimize insulin resistance we have to to do exercise exercise intermittent fasting also I advise sometimes with using chromium chromium minimize insulin resistance but uh, under supervision of your psychiatrist okay can i take uh, can i enhance erectile dysfunction question number three yes you you can enhance erectile dysfunction by using some medications especially tadalafil verdenafil and sildenafil okay under supervision of your psychiatrist also or your doctor okay what about minimizing con uh, concentration and the focus yes one of the most common side effect for the it decreases it decreases the concentration and also focus to minimize this side effect we have to use some supplements like ginkgo biloba and ginseng 115 also you have to take them under your supervision of your psychiatrist okay can i use it with an occasional drink from my point of view it is completely completely prohibited with any drink because the products are already metabolized by cytochrome b 50 using any occasional drink with olanzapine or zeprexa may be cause may be cause liver toxicity may enhance alt and ACT to high level very high levels okay so we have to avoid any drink with zeprexa a question number six the best diet with it from my point of view intermittent fasting number one number two ketogenic diet ketogenic diet number three very low calorie diet very low calorie diet okay i gonna make complete comprehensive videos about them here in channel inshallah question number seven the safest supplement The safest, the safest supplements with the Prexa omega-3 fatty acids, especially from salmon oil source, to enhance concentrations and to enhance focus uh, and to maintain brain functions. Okay. Also, milk system, milk system to minimize ALT and AST enzymes in liver. Okay, pause of zero what about Jainiku Mastia? to be honest for Jainiku Mastia, the best solution the best solution at all is using medications which contain active ingredient promocryptin or carbocolin under supervision of specialist endocrinologist okay the best solution at all 
at all. There is any other solution. That's all for today. If you have any question, just write it down in comments and I can answer it inshallah with minimum than 24 hours. I hope this video is very helpful for you. Bye-bye for now. See you.